Thank you for being with us today, Commissioner. Uh, the many hours you're spending with us. Uh, I do appreciate your time. Uh, I do have some questions for you, but uh, also some concerns about many of your comments today about being wanting to be open and transparent and have a dialogue with the legislature when all of your actions speak to anything but that. Uh, uh, your department waited until last evening to brief our staffs on $1.6 billion in Medicaid cuts. We've had no time to review and respond to this proposal uh, and what's out there. Uh, you tell us that after stonewalling the legislature for over six months on information requests, uh, that finally, uh, when you're ordered to turn it over and, and that Empire Center that was requesting those records uh, issued a report a week ago, yet you haven't taken the time to really look at that, except you know enough to deny that whatever he's reporting is not accurate. Um, you stonewalled the legislature on records. You stonewalled the Empire Center uh, on records. Uh, and but in every one of, and then you've used the uh, DOJ investigation as an excuse for not providing records. Yet, in every one of your uh, deferrals of responding to the FOIL request, and in any court arguments over the lawsuit on that, you never raised the Department of Justice investigation as a reason for that delay. So uh, nothing's really ringing true here, uh, but I have a question for you. Who, uh, who on the second floor, and you know what I mean by the second floor, the governor's office uh, and his top aides, uh, who did you have discussions with over that seven or six or seven month period about delaying the release of the records to either the legislature or to the Empire Center? Well, as, as the governor has said, you know, last week that a void was created and that the information should have been released sooner. And he regrets that. Uh, and uh, I share his feeling and uh, feelings about that. Who's, uh, and Dr. Commissioner, whose decision was it not to release the records? I, I, I said to you, well, as I've said, that the information should have been released sooner, which is what the governor said. Who, but the, Commissioner, whose decision the, was it to not release the, the records? The details and the specifics of how this came to pass are the subject of an ongoing investigation. And when a full determination has been made, uh, and it will be released to the public uh, about this process. And however, uh, at the Commission, present time- Commissioner, Commissioner, have you received uh, any subpoenas from the New York State Assembly or the New York State Senate regards to the nursing home investigation? The department, the legal issues that are dealt with the legal department. And if we get a letter have, or request. Have, you would know if you received subpoenas from the state legislature requesting records related to this. Have you or have you not? The, the, at this point in time, like I said, that any of these issues that deal with the legislation uh, of, or, or from the legislature, it deals with the legal department. And uh, I leave it for them to process that. Uh, has the Department of Health or the governor's office, uh, the state of New York, uh, responded to the DOJ federal request for information from August or October of last year. So this goes back to the issue about the DOJ letter, right? And as I've said, that my uh, I'm aware of the letter, uh, and I have said that the just like my my data team deals with the data analytics, my legal team deals with these issues of any of the letters that that come in. So, so you don't know I, whether your legal team has responded to the federal requests? There is a letter that went back, right, for from to DOJ. Um, when will and, we be provided with that letter? Uh, there is a process here. There is a process. And, and I am sure that you will respect the process that an investigation is ongoing uh, and that I am not going to... Uh, uh, be disrespectful of a process that uh, that involves any kind of federal inquiry, uh, any inquiry. So, um, have you have you received a subpoena to testify before any grand jury? I, I'm going back to the same issue that I'm saying that there's a federal inquiry process is going on, uh, and that uh, I hope that you uh, as well uh, will respect it as much as I will, and that that if that uh, when that process uh, goes forward, uh, then um, I will. Uh, a comment, but right now this is a, an investigation that our legal team will address. Uh, uh, my time is up, but I find uh, 
virtually everything you've said here today to be totally without credibility. 